Hi there. If you've followed the series so far, then hopefully you would have seen us go through the enrollment for both macOS and iOS devices into Intune using both automated device enrollment and BYOD scenarios. But once you've achieved that, what's next? Well, one of the things you might do is enable or disable specific settings and features on your enrolled devices. Microsoft Intune provides a selection of configuration profiles typically grouped together for ease of deployment. This might include something like Wi-Fi, VPN, certificates and restrictions on those devices. If you haven't already, take a look at all the settings that are available. I recommend just matching them against your specific requirements. And if you want to have a look at a visualization of all the settings available, I've done a write up on my blog and I'll include it in the description. In this particular video, we're gonna pick up on a settings catalog and also a configuration profile, specifically restrictions, and see how we set that up and deploy it to a macOS device. So let's get started. Okay, so we're starting off in my Intune Admin Center here for my tenant. Um, we're gonna go through to devices. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see that um, you automatically have configuration profiles, okay? So this is a list of all your profiles relating to all the devices that you're manage managing within Intune, but we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna switch over and select Mac OS and then we're gonna click the configuration profile specific to Mac. Now there aren't any in here at the moment um, and we're gonna go ahead and create a couple. So let's start off by opening the, or clicking the create profile. We've got the platform there and it says pr profile type. Now there are two types, as I mentioned, we're gonna create, we're gonna create one with the settings catalog and one with templates. If we start with templates here, Initially, you'll see these are the groups of templates that Microsoft Intune contains currently. And these are effectively settings that are grouped together. Individually, you can then select this and decide which settings specifically within this group of settings that you want to configure. Um, for us, um, we're gonna go ahead and do a device restrictions policy. But just to highlight one other thing here, uh, despite the groupings under these templates, there's also this custom, okay? Now custom is a custom configuration template which allows IT admins to assign settings that aren't built into Intune yet. Now typically you would have to import the settings for this and just to be aware that Intune does not report against these actual custom settings. So you're not gonna get the full functionality that's available within the, the existing other templates available. So we're gonna click on the device restrictions and then the create button. We're gonna give it a name. And in my particular case, I'm actually going to uh, select a setting um, for the spotlight search that you get available on a Mac OS. Now it's important that you do actually give a name. It may be that you're selecting a number of the settings within this template, but what I would suggest is use your organization naming template and then obviously give it some detail so that you can understand specifically what this policy or what, what this template is achieving for your devices. So we'll hit the next and then automatically, these are a number of options that you get available. Um, if I go through a couple, you'll see, for example, I can block Safari autofill on the Mac. Um, if I go to connected devices, you'll get an option to block AirDrop. And then in the general, you can do a number of things such as, you know, disable AirPlay, for example, or block modification of wallpaper. So you can see there's a good selection of options here. Typically, um, the password options are quite popular, obviously, because if you want to require a password, block a simple password um, and give it expiration date for um, days, for example, this is where you can do that and, and deploy that down to your devices. The other thing to notice as well is that within all of these groupings of settings that you can configure, it will tell you 
what they apply to. So for example, this is saying it's all enrollment types. Okay, so that's gonna um, deal or deploy down to all the different types of enrolled um, Max devices that you have within Intune. Further down the page, you can say that's, see it's automated device enrollment. So obviously anything that's fully managed and enrolled through automa automated device enrollment, these settings will only apply to those devices. So if we move back to the top here, we've got built-in app section, and this relates to all enrollment types. Now, I'm just gonna pick one kind of random setting just to show how it works. You need to match the settings according to your particular policies and what you're trying to achieve. But I'm just gonna click this one. So block spotlight suggestions, okay? And this is effectively uh, blocking the spotlight search for returning any results from an internet search, okay? If I go and have a look on this device and I bring up the spotlight, you'll see automatically that spotlight is gonna return um, results based on all of these different types of services. So if I block the uh, spotlight suggestions, it's gonna re remove some of these options, particularly the one for the internet. And we'll see that working when the policy has been deployed. So I'm gonna switch that to, to yes. And that's the only setting just to kind of show the example how this works. I'm now gonna hit the next and then I'm gonna add my device group in this particular case, but it might be a user group that you want to uh, add in instead. Now, I've got already got a group set up uh, for Mac OS devices specifically, and this is quite key that you do that. So obviously the prerequisite here is that you've got your users, you've got your groups already set up, and that just allows you to select them as, as required. So I'll select the select there, hit the next, I'll review it and then I'll hit create. Now, once that's created, the device, the policy will deploy down to the device. If I just refresh the screen, it should come up. There you go. And eventually we will be able to see this in the report. If I click back on, you'll see that there's a report in here. Okay, obviously at the moment there's nothing, it hasn't been deployed. So we need to wait for that to be deployed down to the device. Alternatively, I can force a sync um, onto the device. So I'll come back when this is available. Okay, so I'm back and we should be now be able to see the results. So if I click onto the actual policy, you should show, yes, it's showing that the there's a six, uh, succeeded. And if I look on the for setting status, it will show a success. There's no errors or conflicts, okay? Alternatively, I can look at the deployment and uh, any troubleshooting for this particular policy deployed. If I go onto the particular device itself, go into Mac OS, click my device, you'll get the itinerary, for example, hardware, the device. If I click on device configuration, I can see that there's the policy, okay? And it succeeded. Uh, and if I click that, it will give me a uh, setting status of succeeded. Alternatively, the other way of doing this is if I go into devices, there's a monitor section. Now this is where you would go if you wanna look at, uh, you're monitoring the deployment of say, configuration, compliance, enrollments, or software updates, for example. And if you were looking if there to see if there's any errors, conflicts or whether a policy is pending this is where you would come so we've got our policy there and as we can see there's no uh, there's no issues at all around this policy um, again I can go in there and I can look at the spotlight setting and it's saying it's compliant on the device so now we've finished that we're going to go ahead and set up our separate setting and that's going to be a cat or settings catalog configuration so we go back into Mac go into configuration profiles as we did before hit the create profile In this case instead of templates we're going to hit the settings catalog and then hit the create I'll give it a name and in this particular case I'm going to choose a setting which is related to software updates so I'll click the next now as it says here with the settings catalog you can choose which settings you want to configure and I'll show you that if I hit the add settings I get a number of categories that I can browse for example I can go into accounts 
um, app management for example all of which give me a selection of settings and I can individually choose the settings that I want it's not a group as you get in a template so I'm going to look for software and then click the search and I've got one for system updates now there are a number of settings available particularly for this category okay the one I'm really interested in here is to do um, automatic download and automatic check enabled so I'm going to click those and then I'll close the pane and these two settings appear okay if I look at this one it's saying if it's false um, deselects the download new updates when available from the App Store option and prevents the user from changing the option okay and the automatic check enabled deselects the check for updates option and prevents the user from changing the option so it's going to tell me when I go back into that setting on my device that these settings are configured and managed by the MDM and also it's going to prevent me from you know carrying out certain actions on my device because it's been centrally managed so I'll click those on and now I'm going to hit the next I'm not going to do any scope tags I hit the next again add my device group which as per the last configuration is Mac OS devices select that hit the next review as it always gives you a definition and summary of what you've created and then I'll hit the create button that policy will deploy down to my device obviously there is a time lapse and you may need to hard sync your device or the device will check in after up to eight eight hours and then the policy will de be deployed if I hit refresh here it should show that it's available and it's telling me that that's new um, and then if I go into that particular option it's not giving me any succeeded so we'll come back when this is deployed down to my device okay so I'm back again um, this should now be available if I select that settings that we just deployed to my Mac it's showing that that's succeeded if I look at the per setting status as I did with last time you can see there's a success and there's no errors or conflicts now, I won't go through the other monitoring sections it's pretty much the same now just to show this actually working if I go into my um, system settings on my device and then into general I can look at software updates and despite the fact that it's showing an update available this has already been downloaded right so um, it's already checked in before I actually deployed this but it's actually saying at the top here right updates for this Mac are managed by Contoso which is basically saying the uh, by MDM if I click on the um, information there the options I had available to me to toggle on or off are no longer available so our policy is restricting us from doing that so I can no longer do that personally because my depart IT department decided that I can't so I hit the done and then I'll go out of that now before we finish here I just want to show you some information on the Microsoft website relating to some of the policies okay there are some common questions and answers that you can get some details about on the website and if we come down to compliance and device configuration policies that conflict basically you know if it's a compliance policy these things are worth noting right compliance policy setting always has precedence over configuration profile setting so that's quite important to know um, and that what that means is if you've got a more restrictive compliance policy it will take precedence despite the fact that you've got both set up but if you've got a configuration policy setting that conflicts uh, with the setting in another policy this policy uh, is shown in Intune we've shown it kind of in the monitoring area but you will have to go in and manu manually resolve these conflicts yourself as I said before in relation to custom policies this is for iOS iPad and Mac OS it's saying that Intune doesn't evaluate payload of Apple configuration files or a custom open mobile alliance uniform resource identifier blimey that's a long name um, so 
you're not going to get the level of service within Intune for those custom policies. And the last thing I just want to raise is what happens when a profile is deleted and no longer applicable? Okay, I think this is a common problem whereby people don't know if, if I just delete that policy, what does that mean? Um, or if I want to change the policy for a particular profile, how do I do that? So in earnest, if you're wanting to change the policy in a configuration policy, you would go into that policy, change the settings, switch it off or on, whichever way you've got it, or you know, enable another particular setting and then when you confirm that you've made that change, the policy will be updated on the device. Now it may take some time before that happens, but it will be implemented on the device. If however, you want to get rid of those policies, so for example, the software update on my Mac, then what I would do is literally go onto the policy itself, if I show you, and I can just delete that policy. By deleting that policy, is is effectively going to take off that configuration on my particular device so that's all you need to do you don't need to do anything else if we go back onto the microsoft website as it says here when you delete a profile or remove a device from a group that's assigned the profile then the profile and settings are removed from the device okay so it's worth noting that and that is a common question that most people have if you do have questions in relation to applying, deploying or conflicts, for example, take a look at these common questions and answers. I'll put a link to this particular site as part of the information on the video. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this has given you an idea how you can now go and configure your macOS and iOS devices using Microsoft Intune. Please like and subscribe. We always need a bit of feedback and it's always appreciated. Thanks again.